Okay, guys, I'm so close that I can actually taste it now. Hi, everybody, welcome back to Dying Light. I am Voodoo, and we're finally returning to the tower with our six Anson. And apparently, there's been a breakout or outbreak at uh, 18th floor, <coughs> which is not good by any means of anything, I must say. Hi! You're a regular saint, you are. I couldn't stand watching our kids starving. I have bad stuff. Okay. Hey, man, what's up? <laughs> hey, not much. Uh, so, I've gotten a lot of stuff for medicine, so I'm gonna make eh, just one more. Just not to feel too lowly on that part. Uh, I raided an infirmary or a. Yeah. Pharmaceutical company store thing, yeah, something like that. It's what I rated and got all of this nice stuff. Um, Mr. What's on your mind, Mr. Crane? Are you familiar with a man named Vulcan Yasif Dahl? Vulcan Dahl? Yeah, of course. He owns Vulcan Petrol Engineering. He's the richest man in Iran. That's exactly right. And Mr. Dahl has need of your service. I didn't know he was still in the city. Most of his employees were evacuated, but his two chief engineers are still here in the slums. They're brothers. Twins, in fact. Tolga and Fatin. They've been working on a special project. It's highly confidential, and I'm afraid I can't discuss it. But I can assure you its importance is nearly beyond measure. Well, then I won't bother trying to measure it. The brothers are brilliant engineers, but they're also somewhat uh, idiosyncratic. This, and the problems of operating in the current environment, have put them behind schedule. Mr. Dahl would like you to assist them to get the project back on track. You will be well compensated, as you can imagine. Doing what? Simply do as they ask. You'll only be needed from time to time, and the task will be of short duration. Removing obstacles, you might say. They'll contact you when your assistance is required. I'll think about it. Hmm. Yeah, fucking rice. That's kind of weird. So that's a challenge. I have my finished side quest, finished storage quest. Packed with rice. Let's just, um, oh, bring the medicine to Lena. His men are always first to get to the drops. So, yeah. No, not really. I've gotten two or three of them, so yeah. Don't say Rise is always getting there first. Oh, maybe he's getting there first, but I'm um, killing them. <coughs> so. Do you have the antis in? Oh, Give Hi. it to me. So what happened? One person turned and had a couple of other people trapped. We could have sealed off that one apartment, but Brecken wanted to save as many lives as possible. It went bad. Somebody had to make the call. And now we've lost the entire floor, including including a couple of kids. Oh god, no. You'd better talk to Brecken. I have to get these meds to Lena. Mhm. Mm Let's go to Lena too. Can I just Hey Crane. It's good to see you. Good to see you, Jim. What happened here? It's so very sad. Wow, I can feel your compassion. It's not existent, but okay. Hey buddy. Uh Hi. Um Goss, buy more of that. Med kits, buy two of those. How many firecrackers? You have a hundred firecrackers. You've got to be kidding me. Should actually be it for now. Just sell the bat and this damn thing just because it's in my way. It should be fine. What are you doing? Oh, maybe sell all my valuables for him too. It's 400. Hi. Alright, I've got your anti-seizure medicine. Thanks. Oh, how things go with Gazi? Well, he may be challenged, but he's very good at getting what he wants. Yeah. Did you meet his mom? Yeah. She seemed happy. If mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. Speaking of which, Brecken asked me to pass this on to you. With his thanks. Ooh, weapon upgrade champion. I really wanna... Oh, wait. I Good work taking out that antizin lab. 
You've saved a lot of lives. Now, it's only a matter of time before someone starts another one. Yeah. The danger is all those empty antisin bottles out there. People throw them away, and then anyone can refill them with whatever they like. Now, you better start destroying them. We've collected all the bottles in the tower. Plus, Brecken is offering a $10 bounty for every bottle you runners find out there. Wow, I didn't know that. Shops and Quartermasters has new inventory. That's quick. Huh, let's go in and talk to Brecken first. I can already feel that this is going to be a very... Textures weirding out the top of my screen. Oh, right, never mind. <coughs> this is where we get the announcements about the Antacin drops, and they've just stopped. They were kids in there. I froze. Lena had to step up. Maybe she should be in charge. What the fuck, Crane? I'm no leader. I'm a goddamn parkour instructor. Wait, so all the free running... Wait, that was you? Brecken, you showed these people how to survive. Do you know what my pockets were full of when I showed up in Haran? Fucking business cards. I was hoping to drum up some more students. Maybe get enough so I could save up and buy a house. Instead of that poxy little flat I've been renting. Listen. I'm gonna talk to Rice myself. Whoa, whoa, H hang on a minute. Brecken, these people still need you. Okay, just, just give me some time, all right? There's, there's gotta be another way, a better way. Fine, I'll wait, but not for long. Okay, that was, um, melodramatic. Didn't quite catch all of it because my girlfriend started talking to me in the middle of it all, so that was a thing. I'm just gonna jump off here now. No, um... Not really, but, uh... Ooh, stuff. Statue. What can I use those things for? Don't even give me XP or anything. Finally, I get to do some actual good. What? Oh. Acrofries. I gotta go upstairs. Further upstairs. How much? Oh. Rahim. Rahim. Rahim? Rahim, what are you doing up here? Hey, Crane. Hmm. Kid's drunk. Can I trust you? <laughs> How much you had to drink, kid? Can I or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? See that skyscraper? The scout found a volatile nest in there. We take that out, and then running missions at night, we could totally do that. Hmm. So I'm thinking, if we planted some explosives... Oh, Jesus. Rahim, you're not still on that. Crane, we have to do this. As long as that nest is there, we'll never be able to gather up enough antis in. It <clears> would work. Make a good team. Ah, shit, oh my. Ah, don't drop me. Don't drop me. Uh, yeah, if I weren't here, you'd be dead now, bro. Oh, fuck. <laughs> See? Told you we make a good team. Yeah, okay. Look, Raheem, we don't have any explosives. I mean, none. The closest thing to what you're talking about are Spike's firecrackers. That, that's impossible. You don't know what it's like. All I can do is watch. Sit on my ass and watch everything happen and do nothing. I don't want to die here, Crane. Not like this, not helpless. If I go out, I'd rather go out doing something. What's this? Eh, my. I was set to fly out on Sunday. They quarantined us on Thursday. I already had my bags packed. I'll... Okay, look, I'll keep my eyes open, okay? If there's some way we can make this happen. Whatever. Oh. Yeah. 
Sad, sad, sad. But yeah. Look for a safe place to contact the GRE. It's apparently still up here. All the way up here. Oh god, that's the wrong way. Mm. Kind of close to happening. Okay. This is a safe enough space, apparently. Nobody else can hear me here. This is Crane, do you copy? What do you want, Crane? What do you want? What? I want you to start the antizen drops again, at least near the tower. These people need help. We put you in Haran to find our file, not to play Mother Teresa. Or does this mean you've reconsidered Ryza's proposal? Perhaps Miss Aldermere would even be willing to cooperate, test her skills in a new environment. Uh. You start giving us some antizen and then... And then we'll talk about what Rise wants. Oh, it's us now, is it? Well, I'm afraid your request is out of the question in any case. Things have gotten a bit strained with the Ministry. Okay. Resuming the airdrops would not be politically advantageous at the moment. Hmm. Well, you assholes take the fucking cake, you know that? You and your fucking file. Look, I'll locate the file for you, but I'm gonna take a good long look at it before I decide what to do about it. Yeah. That's right. We will. Apparently. Do so. Crane, this is Jade. Do you copy? I'm still in the tower. Loud and yep. clear, what can I do for you? I don't know how much time we have, so... The short version. I need your help. Rice has turned an abandoned school into a supply dump. Okay. And I think it may be where he's storing his antizen. If you and I sneak in there, we could get all the meds the tower needs. Are you with me? Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. Great. Still sounding Look like Look for me in one of the boxcars on the train trestle near the school. Okay. And listen, Jade. If we don't find that Antizen, I'll need to talk to you about something. About what? Another option, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Right now, let's see what we can find in that school. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm very not happy. Oh, wow. I have, like... Outfits for days. Let's take on the newest run runner here. I don't even know if this gives me anything extra ability or any wise if I'm getting better at the running or eh. It doesn't matter. I was tired of having a yellow t shirt on, and that's it. <laughs> so Jade knows where we might be able to get more answers in. I'm supposed to meet her in one of the boxcars near the school. Yeah. You again? Okay, why does my flashlight turn on every time? That's weird. Okay. Why aren't I supposed to, like, get something from you? There's somebody here who wants to talk to me. There's a lot to be done around the tower. I hope you find some time to take a look at the board. Oh. Herbs. Oh, there is actually... Somebody turned on the antenna uh. Travel to Kelly's apartment and bring the items he needs. Beware of the night. Nah. That's it. There's these two things. That's it. Nah, I'm good. One hook blade. Why not? I don't know, how late is it right now? Or is it late at all? Come here. I've got a special deal for you. Oh, for ya. The hell are you from? The Australians? It's like, locals are zombies, but... Everybody else is a damn tourist. I'm gonna wait until night and wait until morning and then we can end the episode, guys. I'm sorry, but I have kind of uh, filled my quarter for today. Uh, so, yeah, guys. Whew. Uh, I'm tired. Find better stuff anywhere else. And I have to go to work in, like, not that long. So. Thank you all for watching. I'm Voodoo. You've been watching the Meat Lovers, and I hope to see you guys you next time. Guns. Guns. Can I do hey, have you seen that house with the red smoke pouring out of it? If Rise's people spot it, 
They're gonna come knocking on his door. Someone ought to warn him. Yeah, I've got enough trouble right now, but I'll think about it. AKA, I'll do it. So, thank you all for watching. I've really enjoyed these episodes that I've been making here. I've been making here. And I hope you enjoy them as well whenever they get on the hoops. So, hey guys. Thank you all for watching. I'm Budo, and you've been watching The Meat Lovers. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.